Hello and good air of Shabbos. Today is day 77 in the war in Gaza. We continue to hold in our hearts to daven and to uh, perform mitzvahs, learn Torah and the merit of everyone in Israel and those for those being held captive and their families for all soldiers fighting for Israel and their families and for uh, the entire country. Today is also a Sarah It is a fast day, a day that we daven uh, for Hashem's mercy, that Hashem should act as Hashem Hashem, and we pray that He should uh, increase His mercy on the Jewish people. The fast of Asar Batavis commemorates when Babel, the Babylonians, uh, besieged Jerusalem, when they encircled Yushalayim uh, and began the process that would ultimately culminate in the destruction of the base of Migdash. The beginning of the siege was also the beginning of the time period. Uh, when the fear of the Jewish people in Jerusalem increased, when food became more scarce, when disease became uh, began to spread. And so uh, it was marked down as, uh, as uh, a day of infamy and would uh, become a fast day in the Jewish calendar. And these events are recorded in the book of Malachim as well as in the book of Yirmiyahu. However, in Yechezkel, uh, there's a fascinating parallel story. Yechezkel had already been exiled in an earlier wave of exiles from Yishalayim. He was already living in Bavel in Babylonia, and Hashem comes to him in Bavel. And Yechezkel records in Perich of Dalit, Hashem came and spoke to me on the 10th of Teves, and he said, Write down the name of this day, this very day, for this is the day. He couldn't know, they didn't have, they didn't have phones, they didn't have Zoom. This day. Uh, a thousand miles away, hundreds of miles away in Yushalayim, the Buchanesser, the Babylonian army is besieging the Jewish people in Jerusalem. And then Hashem instructs Yechezkel, he says, take a pot and fill a pot with the choicest pieces of meat and then put it on a fire, a high fire, too high fire, and let the, the meat and the stew cook until everything breaks down, until it becomes gross, and then dump out the pot and then leave the empty pot on the fire until the pot itself burns and is blackened and is thus purged. And the parable is that Yushalayim, the pot is filled, is supposed to be filled with the Jewish people, with the beautiful people. And now Hashem, so to speak, is lighting a fire underneath it, a fire that will cause it to be emptied of the Jewish people and a fire that will uh, burn, but also purge Yushalayim. And what was in Yushalayim that needed to be purged? Why did it need to be cleansed? Hashem tells the Navi Yechezkel, I am doing this. Kidama Besocha, for there's blood in it. There's blood in the city of Yushalayim. That's referring to presumably actual violence, even murder. It also refers, though, to uh, corruption. It refers to uh, the abuse uh, of the poor, of uh, lower class, uh, or discriminated against segment of society, uh, a certain cruelty that existed in Yushalayim. Kidama Besocha, for there's blood in it. Haya al tzchiach sela. Semasu, and they have placed that blood on the top of a high point of a rock. Velo shafachasu al ha'aretz l'chasus alav afar. They didn't pour the blood on the ground to cover it up with dirt. Meaning, uh, not only do they do these things, not only do they hurt people, take advantage of them, they don't just do it. Pri- they don't do it privately. They don't try to cover it up. But it's. It's on top of a rock where, where the blood is not absorbed. On top of a high rock, there's a brazenness to it. They do it out in the open and no one cares or no one stops them or says anything. And this is not just a measure of the guilt of the individuals that engage in such a behavior, but it's a comment on the society. This is how the society, the culture ran, that it was, it was uh, understood that people in power can take advantage of people that are looked down upon, that some people's lives are worth more than other people's lives. It was a comment on the city, on the culture, on the society, on on the people, not just on what uh, a person did or not even just what many individuals did, but it was a comment on the morality of the group. There's such a thing as the morality of an individual and the morality uh, of a group. We're all part of different circles. We have our family circle, we have a friend circle, we have a larger community circle, uh, and uh, we try to be good people, focusing, as we do every week on these videos of, of, of chesed, to be good and caring people, to people, to be people who are sources of, of, of goodness, of positivity, uh, and we are to do that as an individual, but uh, there's uh, an even higher level, so to speak, and that is when we can 
influence, when we can not just do good on our behalf, but help create a culture, a circle uh, of chesed, of, of a place, of a community of like-minded people who value, who engage in uh, caring behavior, taking care of, being inclusive. Uh, as an example, I think it's still, uh, maybe it was over the summer, I don't remember when, someone started uh, a specific Young Israel Brookline uh, volunteering in Chesed WhatsApp group. And now there's so many things that are posted and shared and people do so many wonderful acts of, of kindness and caring and helping people facilitated through that group. But it's not just that that WhatsApp group uh, facilitated a way for many individuals to do acts of chesed. But now there's this group, there's this culture. Uh, it, it's part of uh, the environment. And I apologize, I don't remember who did it, but if you're listening, uh, thank you very much. And it was an incredible thing that you've done to start that group. So what can we do? We can all, uh, in our different circles that we're in, what can we do to make it a more chesed circle, a community that doesn't, to atone for the sins that Yechezkel describes that led to Asar that, that, that unfortunately Jewish people at a certain time, there was blood on the rocks. That's what was sort of out in the open. That's what people uh, saw. That's how the, the system and society worked. How do we create the opposite? How do we atone for that sin and create circles of chesed? How do we create communities and uh, atmospheres and networks of people uh, that value and engage in acts uh, of caring for other people to start uh, to create something which will be more than us, that it feeds on itself this positive feedback loop that will create the environment where there'll be more goodness, more positivity, more love, more caring. How do we help create uh, such places and such circles in all the different uh, circles that we are a part of? something to think about, something to think about, but if we can do, if we can move the needle even just a little bit more than just what we do, but move the needle uh, of the tone, of the quality, of the environment, of the network of relationships that we're part of, uh, that is a very powerful thing that creates an incredible merit for us, for that group, and for that entire Jewish people. And this is Sarah Batebes. We try our best to learn the lessons from those tragic events uh, and to dive into Hashem that he should have mercy upon us and the entire Jewish people. Good Shabbos, everyone, and Shabbat Shalom.